G'day, this is Lucia. Welcome to my art channel. In today's video, I want to continue using the colours that I used in my Twin Berry hearts. I really, really love those colours. And I thought that what I would do is use those colours and create a bloom on a round uh, substrate as opposed to a heart substrate and see what it looks like. Now, the only thing is I can't decide whether I want to take out the Prism Pour Platinum Rose and add the Prism Pour Black Raspberry or if I want to leave both of them in. So just to give it a little bit more, I don't know, depth, the a Black Raspberry will certainly give it a little bit more depth. So I'm going to give it a try and see what, turn, what turns out. Now, that I've got to find what I'm going to do with the base paint. Oh, here it is. Now, I've thinned it down, but I may have to thin it down again. I'm not even sure whether there's going to be enough in that, but we'll see. If worst case scenario, I'll add some white as well to that. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's put the colours down here. Now, my... Um, pillow paint the one I was looking for and couldn't find is the custom made lilac really love that color so I will use that it looks still looks a bit thick so I'm going to add a little bit of water I don't want to add too much water because I don't want it to break down but I want it a little bit thinner I could add some flow troll but we'll see better I'm just not sure whether I'm going to have enough now so the other option is I add a little bit of white to paint to this but or do I have something else I can add to it perhaps let me have a look mm, I've got a bit of magenta that I can add to it I do have a custom made light magenta pillow that I can add to it just to give it a little bit more. See how thin that one is, or how thick that one is. Well, that looks thick too. Mm. If I add this, it'll make it a little bit pinker. That's the only thing. That's that colour. But I kind of like that colour better, sort of a bit more purple than this one. But I could put that on the around the edges if I need to. I'll just thin that out a little bit too because that is quite thick as well. I was really concerned that my hearts would crack because they were quite thick, but they seem to uh, handle the drying process quite well. So that's a good thing. Oops, I think I'm still a little bit thick, but we'll play it, we'll play it by ear, eh? That's just the outskirts of it, if I need some extra <coughs> paint. Now, the colours were um, Harry and Wilma Deep Crimson. Very beautiful colour. This is the Harry and Wilma Chameleon. Yellow, orange, red. And it doesn't look all that great in the cup. It just looks pretty average, but it's gorgeous when it's on the uh, canvas. I'll show you on the canvas. This one probably shows it more. That's that, ooh, that kind of coppery, orangey colour that's there. It's just gorgeous. And you can't see it on camera probably, but there's quite a shimmer in that, and you can see sort of one way it looks a little bit orangier, some, otherwise it looks yellow and sometimes a little bit more darker red. Uh, the colour shift in it. But anyway, um, the next colour is, it's from the Harry and Wilma store, but the paint is Artco Rich Red Pearl. It's absolutely gorgeous. Love that colour. Gorgeous colour. It reminds me a little bit of the Deco Art Berry. All right, uh, my next colour, which I'm going to add, 
Shimmer hasn't gone too thick and dry. Looks a little bit odd. I haven't used it for a while. Um, oh, she's very thick. Now, I could add some Josonia. Let's add just some, some Josonia and see, because it's extremely thick. It might be too thick that it won't come back. Look how glubby that is. So if I put some Josonia in and it doesn't do anything, then we could probably throw it out and not use it, sadly, because I really love these Colour Art Prism Pour colours. And I really don't want to get rid of this colour because I really love it. Uh, she's still a little bit. She's going to need a fair bit of Josonia in that to come back. I could be wasting Josonia because if it doesn't come back shortly, I'll add some water. Uh, she's not bad. She's coming back. All right, so what I might do is add just a little bit of water to that. So I'm not using too much Josonia. And see, yeah, that doesn't look too bad, actually. And I don't want to put too much water because I don't want it to break down. And even when you put too much gloss varnish in it, it becomes all varnish and then the pigment disappears. But I, can't, I think this is kind of, yeah, she's still a little bit thick, but she's not too bad. We'll go with it because I do like that colour. Yeah, the Pebio iridescent blue violet I'm going to put before the Art Go Red, then the Blackberry, then I'll swap it over a little bit and put this one. This is my favourite too. This is the uh, Perlex Duo Violet Brass. It is gorgeous. Oops, that's a bubble. That's all right, I thought it might have been a gooby. All right, then I'll put the Coral Luster. <laughs> it looks like red in there, and then when you mix it, it goes that nice peachy color. Wow. Love that. Did I show you that close up? Yes, I did. All right, and last but not least, I will go with this. The only thing is that I don't want this one to overtake. So I might just only put a little bit on there. Now, the cell activator is my Amsterdam Titanium White. Just give that a bit of a stir. Make sure it's not too thick. It is a little bit thick. Add a little bit of water to that. Should I go and get some more flow pole? I might just add a little bit of water. Just to make it a little bit, that's better. All right, let's get started. My substrate is a 30 centimeter, 12 inch round MDF. And make sure it's in the center. Yep. And we'll get started. Wish me luck. Oh, and I'm doing a bloom is what I'm hoping to do anyway. That's my goal. So let's hope it'll work. I haven't done blooms for a while, as you could tell from my little um, uh, berry hearts. I'm out of practice again. Yeah, I'm not sure whether that's enough paint. So I will put that in the centre and then maybe put a little bit of the uh, magenta on the side. I could spin that a little bit, couldn't I? All right, I will um, put this on the outside. This one looks a little bit thicker though still. All right. Let's see how it goes. Not too different, but um, this is slightly pinker. So I don't really want a lot of this one. Yeah, and it is a little bit thicker still too. Okay. Okay. 
yeah it is a little bit thick so hopefully it'll be thin enough to fall off the edge when we want it to hey give that a spin and see what happens yeah I think I might have hit the pillow I didn't think I was going down that low but it appears I have but about I might have to do it again if it doesn't work out I'll do it again the only thing is I don't have any more of that lilac so I'll have to use the magenta Hmm, I don't like the uh, the lacing. It's only very limited. It's only a little bit here and that's it. So yeah, I may have to do it again. Or I'll just use what's there as the base and just put the colours over the top. That's the other thing I could do once it goes off the edge there. Beautiful colours. Love. And actually that purple, that uh, black raspberry is really pretty. I'm glad I added that. House paint is very toxic. So I really don't want to, whoops, torch it. But... There are a lot of bubbles in that. So let me see if I can hit some of those big ones first. Yeah. Now, I've hit the pillow, so I really don't like what's happening there. But I will. <laughs> you can see the difference between the lilac and the pink there. Um, but what I'll do is I'll re-put the colours down again. And we'll do it again. I may even blow it out with my mouth. We were riding through the woods with our bikes we get scared when it got darker at night cause everyone was missing safety lights so we tried to use a flashlight as a guide and now i'm standing in an overcrowded train picturing the times we had as children while the rain is pouring down the windows and the people push the
Actually, I'll leave it at that because I don't want to lose that lace in there. It's gorgeous there. And I don't mind those that background stuff. What I might do once it dries is either with paint or Posca pen, I don't know. I can go around and just outline the flower a bit more so that you can tell the difference between the background and the flower petals. Wow, that's gorgeous. Love those colours. Yeah, so I will do another video at some stage, whether I do the next video. I don't think I'll do it tonight. But I'll do it with a black background and a white background to see if you can see those colours a little more. But I'll bring you down and give you a look-see and you can tell me what you think. That's her in a full glory. Let's check out that shimmer wow and you know me i couldn't help myself i had to go with the skewer and just give it a little bit of a a uh, shape around the edges when i switched off the camera i say it's done and then it's not but check out that shimmer wow it is beautiful and that chameleon yellow actually looks gold. She is stunning. That red pearl from Artco. And the prism pour is that dark purple in there. She looks, I'm glad I added that. It's just gorgeous. And that part there is actually crimson. Harry and Wilma. Wow, look at that lacing. Isn't she gorgeous there? I'm really happy with that, actually. It took a while to sink, but it sank after I blew on it with the straw. And I don't mind that it's got all that background stuff because it actually looks good. Look at all the lacing from the background. So it looks cool. Like I said, when it dries, I may or may not, I haven't decided yet, I may go around it with a, uh, a gold Posca pen or just to make the flower stand out a bit more. But yeah, wow. 
love that shimmer and that bluey color I reckon would be the that brass duo violet brass duo and a bit of the um, pebio blue violet that's where the blue would be coming from but wow love it all right folks if you enjoyed my video please like comment share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload the next video in the meantime have a nice day bye